Hi, David and Chardeep back. Uh, we're uh, making some more time to talk about uh, some of the features within CloudStack uh, from the network side. Uh, we, uh, we're constantly concerned, particularly in a multi-tenant situation with security, and so uh, firewall and, and other kinds of things are important to us. So uh, what, what kind of uh, services does CloudStack offer from, from kind of that protection angle? We, I think we already talked about security groups and basic yeah. zones, so that's, if you leave that aside, in the advanced virtual, we offer very powerful firewall features. Mm -hmm. Firewall, NAT, and port forwarding functionalities. So let's talk about firewall. Firewall lets you, ac you know, restrict access to your uh, VMs in the cloud on any protocol or any port. Mm -hmm. So whether that's TCP, UDP, or ICMP, and then you can specify the port. Right. And, um, and so typically, you know, you would, you know, restrict Port eighty to the load balancers and or, uh, to the load, to the uh, to the web servers and then you know twenty five to the mail servers and so on. Right. So so that's just your typical standard firewall. It's just making that available into the cloud, right? That's right. Yes. Um, and so that's that's actually the the direct connection to uh, to a um, to a virtual machine, uh, assuming there's direct network connectivity. What are some of the other things that, that CloudStack does to, to kind of protect and hide networks? So once you do uh, the, the, so the firewall lets you, you know, restrict specific uh, ports and then source IPs. Sure. And, and then once you do that, you can say, well, I have only one public IPv4 addresses, address. So then you can say, well, I want to port forward port 22 to a particular VM so mm -hmm. that I can access port 22 there. And then if you have more than one VM, then you can start using additional public ports, right? And then port forward them to specific VMs. So, so people are people are probably used to this from their home their home exactly. router. You yeah. know, they they want to get uh, to port twenty two on their Linux box and port thirty three eighty nine to their Windows box. So this still allows them to take that one public IP one address. public IP address, and they could address you know relatively unlimited number of, of virtual machines on various ports. That's right. So that's the port forwarding feature. And then if you want, you know, really high throughput uh, or, um, or more traditional hosting kind of thing, you can do something like static net, mm -hmm. where you take one public IP and then forward all the traffic on the public IP to a uh, one VM. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when the VM talks back out, it uses that IP as a source IP. Right, so it, it's that's the one to one. You're just passing the traffic. Exactly, along. but on on top of that, you can still do firewalling on top of it. Sure, sure. Um, that's uh, that's interesting. You know, certainly from an enterprise and from a from your traditional data center, you've been having firewalls was was kind of an assumed thing, and uh, you know, with the exception of security groups in the cloud, that the idea of being able to control for the user to be able to control their networking, uh, NATing and firewall uh, is, uh, is quite a thing, uh, quite an impressive thing. Uh, anything else that we, we should be thinking about from, from a firewall perspective or from a... Uh, the, the same services are available when you use external firewall, so if you oh. use the Juniper SRX, yeah. the exact same features are available. So, so you could have that, that physical piece of hardware that you normally wouldn't let uh, one of your end users exactly. have an account on, yeah. and they can use CloudStack to configure that? That's right. So a device which was not multi-tenant before suddenly becomes multi-tenant. Multi-tenant. So, so effectively, CloudStack acts as the gatekeeper, goes and configures it. That's right. Uh, so, so you mentioned that uh, the Juniper device, uh, effectively, uh, from what I understand, uh, we've made the design decision to, to support network devices that have an API exposed. That's correct. Yes. Uh, and uh, can just for just for informational purposes, can can you explain why that's important? Um, it's because when 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 the CloudStack users calls an API call on CloudStack to configure a firewall, we need an automated way to talk to the firewall. Mm -hmm. And if the firewall device has you know just the traditional CLI, it just becomes very hard. Uh, right. Because the error, it's, it's not a true API. It's, you're trying to pretend to be a human, mm -hmm. and that just doesn't work very well. It's the error problem. It just uh, and it doesn't scale to thousands scale, of users, exactly. right? Yeah. yeah. So that's interesting. Uh, that's uh, so you can use your your traditional already paid for 
That's uh, right. network device. And, yeah. and so, you know, I know the uh, I know there are a number of folks out there who are uh, who like APIs, and I think that's uh, APIs are going to be coming more and more to to um, to some of the uh, the network devices. Absolutely, I mean, we see the, the traditional networking vendors move towards that. You know, we, we already had Viata doing this as a virtual appliance, mm -hmm. and I think with the 3.0 release, we'll find it far far, far easier to ins insert uh, appliances like Viata mm -hmm. into cloud stack in instead of our distribution of the virtual mm -hmm. and uh, we find you know folks like Juniper bringing out their own virtual firewall. Mm -hmm. uh, Cisco has uh, something in the works called uh, Overdrive, which can control their devices with an API. Oh, really? That will so it, 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 it'll be fantastic when they can. Right. Know, so, so our so cloud stack scope is going to increase. In That's the, right. In the and we already have hooks in place to do these things. Outstanding. Well, uh, I appreciate you taking the time to talk with us about firewalls and uh, and that. Thanks. You're welcome.